exhibition. We do not have to be perfect. It's enough to share what we feel. In Mini Minya, the sun was shining in the sky. The birds were chirping. Ollie wanted to play with Misty in the park. When he arrived at Misty's house to call him, he knocked on the door, but no one answered. Ollie wondered, where is he? Perhaps he is in the garden, he said, and went behind Misty's house. When he entered the garden, he was surprised. Misty was leaning over the garden table doing something. He did not hear the door because he was listening to music with his earphones in his ears. What's he doing? wondered Ollie, walking slowly over to Misty. When he saw what Misty was doing, he exclaimed in surprise, I don't believe it! This is great! It turns out Misty was painting, but Ollie had never seen such beautiful paintings. Misty was filling up papers with beautiful paintings. Hearing Ollie screaming next to him, Misty startled got worried that Ollie would see his paintings. Ollie, where did you come from? He cried in surprise as he tried to cover his paintings. But Ollie had seen them already. Misty, what beautiful paintings these are. Did you paint them all yourself? Why didn't you show them before? I love them, he said, jumping around excitedly. Misty shyly covered his paintings and said, Please, Ollie, they are not that good. I make a lot of mistakes when I paint. The colors become distorted. They're not perfect, he said. Don't be ridiculous, Misty. These are great paintings. Everyone should see them, said Ollie excitedly. No, no, don't tell anyone. I don't want anyone to know, said Misty. I will show when I paint a perfect painting, but not before. Ollie was very surprised, but could say nothing. Ollie looked at the wonderful paintings on the table while Misty went inside to bring his friend some cookies. I think they are great and everyone should see them. But Misty said not to tell anyone. Ugh, thought Ollie. Then he had a brilliant idea. He quickly took some of the paintings on the table and left the garden. As he ran toward the park, he thought with a smile, Misty said not to tell anyone, but he did not say not to show the paintings. I am so smart! Ollie hung the paintings on the trees in the playground. Looking around, he saw Kiwi and Mimi entering the playground. He yelled out to them and called them over. Mimi and Kiwi came up to him cheerfully. Just as they were about to greet him, they saw the beautiful paintings hanging from the trees. What beautiful paintings! Mimi said in amazement. And what beautiful colors! said Kiwi. Who painted these? Ollie did not open his mouth. He promised Misty he would not tell after all, but he waited with a smile. While Mimi and Kiwi were admiring the paintings, Misty came running into the park. He had been searching anxiously for his lost paintings. When Misty arrived at the place where Mimi, Kiwi, and Ollie were, he realized what had happened. He was very embarrassed that Ollie had shown his paintings to the others without his permission. His face was flushed. Oh, Misty, Kiwi said. Did you paint these wonderful paintings? Congratulations!
But Misty was both very embarrassed and very angry. Holly, I told you not to tell anyone, he shouted, turning and running away. Ollie regretted what he had done. He never thought Misty would be so upset. He immediately ran after him. He caught up to Misty, who was sitting sadly under a tree. I do not want to talk to you, Ollie. Please leave me alone, Misty said angrily. You are right, Misty, Ollie said. Your paintings were so beautiful that I wanted everyone to see them. But I shouldn't have taken them without your permission. I am so sorry I upset you. Yes, you made me very sad, said Misty. I did not want to show these bad paintings to anyone. I did not want to show anyone until I made the perfect painting. Now everyone is making fun of my paintings. Forgive me, Misty. If you want, we can go collect them together. I'll tell everyone that I took it without permission. I am so sorry, Ollie said. He was really upset that he had broken his friend's heart. When Misty saw his deep sorrow, he said, Okay, let's collect them before more people see. But please do not do anything. Anything like that again, Ollie. Ollie promised. So they made up and went back to the park. As they entered the park, they saw something strange. Kiwi and Mimi had put Misty's paintings in front of them, taken out their crayons, and started painting with enthusiasm. They were having so much fun doing it that Misty was surprised. But guys, these paintings are not perfect. There are a lot of mistakes. What are you doing? He said. Kiwi looked up from her painting, which she had painted with bright colors, and said, I love your paintings, Misty. You obviously really enjoyed making them and used the colors so enthusiastically. I wanted to give it a try, too. Surprised, Misty said, All right. Yeah, I do have a lot of fun with it, too, he muttered. Mimi spoke up, brush in hand. When I saw your paintings, I wanted to paint, too. It was so much fun. Can you teach me, too? <laughs> Misty smiled in surprise. So, you really like them? Don't you think there are mistakes? Maybe there are mistakes, Ollie said and continued. But the important thing is to do your best and have fun, isn't it? I get happy when I look at your paintings. That's why I wanted others to see it too. There is happiness in your paintings, Misty. I think that's more important than being perfect. Surprised, Misty did not know what to say as his friends happily dipped their brushes in paint and painted. He remembered why he loved to paint so much. He felt again how much he loved painting with colors and shapes. Thank you, Misty, Mimi said with a smile. I am so glad you shared your paintings with us. Surprised, Misty looked at Ollie with a shy smile. If it were not for Ollie, he would have never shown his paintings to anyone. Ollie looked happily at his friend. Misty turned to Mimi with a big smile and said, I am so glad I can share them with you, Mimi. Let's all paint together. And so they all began to play happily with the colors and paint as they pleased. Some shapes are bad. Sometimes the colors blended like mud. 
and sometimes they all seemed to scatter beyond the lines. But none of them cared because they were having so much fun. Seeing their good spirits, their other friends joined in the fun, and at the end of the day, they all displayed their paintings in the park. It was a colorful and lively exhibition. This was how Minnie Mia's first painting exhibition took place. After that day, they painted whatever they wanted and shared however they liked it.